good stuff. We're going to have a very lovely match here. Tony with the break and the golden break. Wow. Tony Drago. So Shane with pretty good break. Yeah, very nice shot, very nice position for the two. So has really let that arm loose in the previous match really played very fast one of the fastest uh, styles uh, I've seen from him of course it uh, was a very dominating match he felt really good almost like practice so he is fun to watch cleaning up tables and moving fast around them just like just like now, and we're gonna have a very, very fun match. One for the books between uh, really two fast players, as really the way Shane plays at the moment. And we all know Tony Drago to his own fault sometimes, how fast he plays. I still remember when I first saw him live in about six years at the first international here in Bucharest the way he moved
Dry break now for uh, for Tony. Shane Van Boning with uh, a long shot on the one, the two. Doesn't have a pocket. He might try to go into them right now while, while potting this one. Oh yeah. Never really thought about, uh, I think. I think he just tried to play safe. Didn't look like uh, it was just an overcut. Tony tries to... Yeah. It wasn't gonna be easy, so... Tony Drago. Looking for a safe play here. John Mora, Krishna Shane with too much spin. Too much spin on that one. And now Tony has a clean look at the two to play a very good safety here, <coughs> which is which is done. Not gonna be easy for Shane if even if he chooses to. Yeah, he's looking at the one railer. Actually, exactly, looking for a two rail kick. hit from Shane yeah I think he just hooked Tony right now yeah. not sure if he sees any edge Yeah, he's looking to kick at this. Yeah, very nice try. He's gonna get a bit unlucky, really. He really... stuck the cue ball after hitting that two, like it was going safe. It, the two has had hit any of the balls above the string. It would have been a perfect safety either way. Very nice exchange here between uh, these two masters of the game. Shane looking to hide the cue ball. Yeah, he looked for that five for uh, the hideout. Hasn't found it. I think uh, Tony can uh, pot this. The six, uh, it's a bit uh, right close there. I'm not sure if he has the potting angle. Maybe he just can hit it just full. Yeah, he never had uh, the shot. Try to uh, snooker in behind the green. Pretty exchange here. Two very good offensive players. 
getting into a chess game right now can definitely play this game too especially Shane not that Tony can but he's a, such an aggressive player that uh, whenever he's always gonna go offensive he has that option yeah he's gonna leave a shot for Shane here nice shot just needs to stun this for close to the upper right corner six passes into the left corner pocket here down you might just uh, you know, put a little bit of right hand spin just go one rail yeah Shane Van Boning looking to first break serve. He's going to go 3 1 with the break. Against Tony Drago, the, Mal the Maltese player. Of course, no introduction needed for any of these two. Tony also uh, played snow. So Shane to break. is 3-1 up against Tony Drago. What a match here. Yeah, he's going to really like that. Good break. Good opener. And if the 7 passes the 8... Cannot bet against this man not cleaning up uh, the table. Ooh. Surprising miss for Shane here. Hope uh, I didn't do the old commentator curse on that one. So Tony <laughs> with a chance to get that break of serve back. gonna feel pretty good about the fact that he's gonna see um, a chance here after seeing Shane breaking so well look at that so quick Tony Drago plays like a youngster Very quick springs from uh, Tony Drago. Always fun to watch. Always fun to watch this man. Look how quickly he cleaned that one. So Tony is going to make it 3-2. And he's going to break. Staying close. Not even 40. So... Shane just a uh, master of this game uh, while still being in, the in his 20s so nice break here from Tony very good break
Yeah, this is the key shot as uh, you might have saw from uh, his reaction, a bit tricky. Oh yeah, he really tried to get there. I'm not sure, did he, did he get there? I think he did. Wow, what a shot. What a shot on the one. Really needed all those revolutions to see the two. And now, look at that. This man is on a mission every time he plays the big tournaments. So Tony looking to break and run and tie things up after being 3-1 down. Very, very encouraging to see him play like that. Tony Drago with the 3-3. Three, three. So Shane to break. Yeah, I did see a couple of those breaks earlier in his uh, first match of today. There were a couple of those that uh, dry breaks. So, a couple of dry breaks for both of these players. But also a couple of breaking runs as well. Tony Drago with a golden break on his first break. Yeah, I don't think he got there. Don't think he got there. Would have been a very nice chance here to really put a strangle. And look at that. Where is the two going? Not in the pocket. Man. So Shane back at the table after the dry break, Tony unable to take advantage, hooking himself, almost fluking the two. Yeah, Shane making a uh, quick work of these balls right now. I can already see him pacing himself a little bit. Not really running around the table like in the previous match. No surprise really, he's really trying to uh, get into Getting to his A game, really. Taking his time. Really focusing in. Yeah, so Shane Van Boning. 4 3 for the American. Tony to break next.
Yeah, so Tony with a good break. Not really sure if that too goes comfortably into the side. If it does, then the question is, does the three go into the corner pocket? So, oh wow, <laughs> what a shot! Amazing shot from Tony Drago. Really, really. Thumping that two ball into the side pocket. What a shot. Almost felt like it's gonna stay out, but it didn't. Tony Drago. Former world number 10 in 1998-99 season. His highest uh, ranking as a snooker player. Has made the... Uh, over a hundred century breaks and he has also made the sen the maximum break once so you know this man is for real 57 years old and still doing it like a youngster really Tony Drago tying things So Shane Van Boning with another killer of a break. Two balls down. Shot on the two. So question is if he's gonna slow roll this or just go three rails. I really think he's gonna go three rails on this one. Yeah, letting loose of that forearm perfect positioning he really needs a, a good angle on this one he's looking to maybe put the four into the side pocket right close to Shane wow that is perfect that is perfect just couldn't have played that one better just like he put it with his hand there. Shane Van Boning really bringing his A game right now. And yeah, look at that pace also. And he's probably gonna play the seven nine combo. He's gonna leave himself just yeah, just go forward a bit. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I thought the 7-9 was a bit more, actually more close together. Oof. Risky, risky kiss there with the 9. Yeah, it's a very thin car on this one. Very, very thin. Wow, what a shot from Shane Van Boning. We have already seen a few of the most, of the best shots of the tournament so far. Well, it's looking pretty close as things stand. Yeah. Who's leading 5-4? Shane, okay. Yep, Shane leads 5-4 in that. It has been a beautiful match so far. Tony already with a golden break on his first break. Been a couple of break and runs, a couple of dry breaks, so yeah, a couple of amazing time. shots, you know. It's too bad he broke dry. Yeah. But Tony Drago, what a, what a legend. Yeah, I was just uh, telling folks of 
you know, his a bit of his snooker career and his uh, achievements also in uh, in pool. And he's doing this at still at 57. He's moving like a youngster around the table. Yeah, like, amazing, like, inspiring, yeah. really. Exactly. Yeah, that one ball that Shane played was hard with these new cloth to keep the top spin. Well, to to not let it spin dead off that first and second rail. It just uh, doesn't. The cloth doesn't really grip the cue ball. Yeah. And so he Being didn't so roll far new. enough. But he he's got the bank here can hold the cue ball will then end up with a straight three and a bit of a left hand side right just to keep the cue ball no you can't three. really i mean you don't really want to play around just bank Spain it with right spin you mean you, you then you can right you can right. hit it thicker and you can it will bend a bit further to the left yeah true yeah yeah true so nice and yeah soft. you kind of play it like center but yeah now he still needs a delicate draw kind of back to uh back to the side pocket height i mean there are various well, even if he stops this white he can make the four ball and come two rails around the yeah. six but pretty much what he's looking for right now are we sticking with this side view is that your new uh, is uh that just your, this frame. your new way of looking at things just this frame i was <laughs> trying to shake him things up and Ooh. i was uh i'm trying not to switch in between the uh, while well, the frames are uh, playing okay. too much to not for, to distract uh, the players for the editing uh, okay. purposes uh, i was uh, informed so oh nice yeah maybe like a frame or two in the end okay but, uh, yeah yeah robert's got it all figured out <laughs> <laughs> something like that so we're gonna switch back to the uh, main one the next frame mixing things up a bit look at that cue ball yeah he should be fine yeah should be able to draw it enough not to hit the exactly. nine ball or seven ball and that will guide him straight towards the six ball yeah, yeah so, so shane, shane started, started three one first break of serve and then tony got it to three three after um he only i think missed shot shane missed um, on a cut on the one and then tony came in and Clean table in 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, Tony, a prime example. Well, same as Shane, really. When they get down on the shot, you know, they trust their first hunch and their first kind of bout of focus. Um, some players kind of settle into their stance, settle into their cueing action, then start to aim, then start to get ready for the shot. Yeah, um, it was really a bit of a difference in the rhythm and. Uh, between his first match of the day and to in this one he was really running around the table and he had a pretty fairly easy match he almost like looked like oh, shane. practicing shane yeah yeah he almost looked like practicing on that one he was really running around the table and doing what almost Tony yeah. does yeah he in general a little bit further well yeah yesterday worked perfectly today he's had a few dry ones yeah he's ha he's moved the cue ball balls width to the right from where we're looking a bit more to the right right yeah yeah i think so too yeah this one i think he did make a bit of a change indeed yeah mm -hmm. no shot on the three with that uh, pretty solid break so is he gonna cut the three on our right side and find cover three rails with the cue ball top rail in right behind the seven and eight yeah uh, mm, sure i mean that requires quite some touch yeah three four to rails. guide to guide two balls in a certain direction that uh, makes the shot harder yep. also so he's looking at the bank i think Banks or safe. play safe three two rails behind the four. Oh wow, uh, that was totally offensive. Wow. No defense oh, look that at this one. cue ball. Yeah, too bad. Oh, <laughs> how did it get there from that angle? That's right? crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking anymore for the cue ball. Thought it's gonna be good, but wow. uh, yeah. And it's yeah. also frozen for the jump, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult i mean even he will be surprised by that you know the game just keeps springing up surprises <laughs> like 
he thought he hit that perfect. Exactly. And with the way he came off the second rail, you would have thought he, he would have gone a bit mm. wider or just never got snookered behind the five ball. I mean, it was that was almost out of the question, really. The Maybe with the bank, there was a lot of topspin left, and that kind of changed the angle. Yeah, most likely. Not an easy jump here, frozen to the rail, but Shane manages to jump it. As Tony jumps out of his seat. Yeah. All right, go Tony. First look at Tony. For me, yeah. yeah. I mean, important to uh, not go 7-4 down, so this is the chance to break Shane's serve and then get a chance to break and run or at least keep control himself. Yep. That's what Tony would like to... Yeah, Tony, back to his good health. I mean, he had a, oh, had a health scare, and this is a, yeah. a pot scare. Oh, Tony, <laughs> really surprising. Uh, oh, that one really uh, moved a bit, and that smashed it. May have been it for his proper chance to, uh, well, stay close and to win this match. Yeah, I mean that's a bit future predicting there, but uh, yeah, this is basically his first miss, really. So. It comes at 6-4 for Shane, not a very good moment to do so. Right when Shane gave him the opportunity on his own break, so this might be that moment, like you mentioned. Yeah, where it e either got close or it, it never got close anymore. Yeah. So Shane with a bit of a cut on this 9-ball yeah. into the left side. Yeah, comfortable pot in Shane Van Bone. We're gonna play today until uh, and also the round of 32. So the first round from the single oh, really? elimination. Yeah, it's at 8:30. Wow. Yeah. Are you gonna make that? Well, I guess we'll see. If I guess we're gonna be late. Probably not. You know, but uh, yeah. Okay, so is Tony gonna Why not? jump this? Uh, the loser qualification also starts at seven, so... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Tony's actually got out the jump stick. I've never really seen him yeah, right. attempt much of that. Yeah, I haven't seen him with that uh, short stick much either. Thought he might have been like an Efren, like uh, I don't I don't use uh, yeah. jump sticks. I've seen know. Earl jump. I mean, yeah. They all give in at some point. Mm-hmm. Shane back at the table trying to make it 8-4 and that could be a prove to be a decisive lead. Yeah. Natural angle to go. Two rails, four to three. Wow, he really opted for a bit of a screw from the side. Really nice touch right there. Tip. Oh yeah. Well, he yeah. did roll his cue ball in the perfect line. That's why he's got a shot on the five ball. But that's uh, about as close as he could get. I think he's good from the Just way. Just a short little cue action. Yeah, he's pretty good at that too, making that short bridge for the close shots. Just fine, yeah. So Shane on the hill after this nine ball. Tony really kept it close. He was 4 4. Waiting for the best 16 players from the one last side, randomly drawn. And we hope to start the round of the last 32, single elimination at 8 30, as was mentioned before. Here we go, Shane. I mean, he's made that one ball, I would say, probably 90%, yeah. I guess, isn't it? 
Yeah, he's getting back uh, online with that break, so nothing surprising about that, of course. He's a master at adapting the break whenever he feels like there is a need for it. And we're also gonna have two rounds on the loser side left yeah. to play, so I think so we're, we're never gonna start at 8.30, are we? It's possibly that we're not, yeah. <laughs> so like, Since this uh, 5.30 matches haven't started yet on the round 5 from the loser side, so yeah, it's probably gonna be a bit of a delay, which might mm, mean that the last 32 will start tomorrow, but we'll let you know, folks. No worries. Ooh, so Shane attempted that wild 2-4 combination. Really wanted to get the match over with. I thought he didn't leave <laughs> Tony this two ball to pot, but he did. Yeah. All right, Come on, Tony. Yeah, let's see if he can uh, work up a sweat here while running at the table. And Yeah, why not make it uh, He's breaking next. It has been very interesting so far, so let's see if he can... Give some more at the end. Really just one big mistake when he missed that six ball uh, have been a bit of a couple of safety battles he lost and a couple of dry breaks but on the rest that six ball has been really wow what a shot here i mean the result is perfect sure exactly about the intent of uh, all those things going like that but tony So looking to make 8-5 and got the break. Yeah. Yeah, nice shot there. Perfect speed. We needed to punch that one a bit with some left hand spin. And Tony makes a three ball into bottom right. Maybe the green six will be maneuvered over there. Maybe even the two ball gets kicked into that bottom right. And also got a chance to make the yellow in the side. So four usual suspect chances, and he made two of those. See? Yeah. Strange, isn't it, how that bottom two ball can sometimes get kicked in. Look at that break, though. Perfect. Beautiful. It's ideal. That's what I've been trying the whole tournament, and I haven't done it once. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure he did it at least. No, well, I can <laughs> tell you I didn't. <laughs> right. Oh man. I ain't lying. Yeah, well, indeed at this level, if you are not breaking uh, that well stuff. Well, you can see how, how easy the opportunities can be, as in, besides getting an opportunity on the lowest numbered ball yeah. with the cut break. Ooh, Tony. Oof. If you break well, I mean, the. The layout he was given there was, you know, yeah. you would you would sign on the dotted yeah, line if you if you could run that out the rest of your life. <laughs> exactly. Ninety nine out of hundred. Yeah, too bad. Oh, too Jump bad. shot would be too far away, so you might be curving it. Yep. Yeah. And this will be curtains. Yeah, it feels so. Well, pr probably draw his cue ball underneath the nine seven play the seven in the same pocket right yeah or in the right side pocket because mm -hmm. he can't really hold it to play the seven bottom left i think yeah, that's what i'm thinking too yeah, yeah perfect nice, nice cue ball drift and so this is the qualification round to get into the into single the elimination right yep yeah. on the winner's side so Shane up to now has been cruising. So he went from the field of 256 undefeated into this last 16 of the winner's round. And there he will be randomly drawn against one of the 16 remaining players from the one last side.
probably around 9, 9.30, I would imagine. Yeah. So Shane with the victory, 9.5. He's moving on to the last 32. He's going to find out pretty soon, of course, if he needs to stay or go home, depending on how long the loser's side will uh, last. It's been a really big pleasure to be here with you folks. And also with uh, Rico here, I, I really enjoy his insight on, uh, on, the, on the game, of course, him being... Uh, yeah, um, just Him a being great me. player uh, Thanks. throughout the last uh, decade. So, thank you, buddy. Victor with yeah. Shamar is next. Oh, nice. So, Victor Zelensky.